Did- Mike in Washington, D.C., let's get started on the phones here. Great to have you with us, sir. Hello. Hi, Russ. Um, just one second, please. You caught me in the library. I didn't think you were going to get through this hour. Okay, I'm good. I'm outside. Sorry. I apologize. I wanted to say that I'm reminded so much of the 90s after this IG report. You know, there are a lot of good reasons people wouldn't want to cooperate that have nothing to do with guilt or innocence. Look at all the people in the 90s that were bankrupted over legal fees. The cheapest way to avoid that is to say nothing to the prosecutors. They don't tell you what they're investigating. You know, knowledge of the uh, law is no excuse. Uh, The cheapest thing to do is just say nothing. I mean, this is kind of like you not announcing the uh, price of your next contract is a tacit admission that plus Ross got you bad, man. Um, yeah, well, you, the, you, I, I gather what you're talking about here is the uh, uh, back, back to the the uh, uh, the Clinton scandals in the 90s uh, and, and the, the drip, drip, drip. I guess you're talking about tort reform somewhere in there, but um Again, here's here's the point about this is, and I've got the audio sound bites coming up. Whenever anybody, it was CNN, some guests wanted to talk about Clinton in the '90s and all of the women. They, they, the CNN hosts and hostess just shut it down, and they got mad about it. We are not going there. That's old news. That's tawdry. We're not going there. And yet, Bill Cosby has been dragged into court for things that he did much longer ago than the 1990s. I mean, Cosby is actually facing charges over this stuff. And nobody is saying, what are we doing here? Why are we focusing on Bill Cosby? It's old news. Nobody cares anymore. Been there, done that. And the same thing with with any Republican. Uh, it, It doesn't matter how old the news is. They'll go back and investigate anything if they even have to make it up. Like Harry Reid making up the fact that Mitt Romney hadn't paid taxes in 10 years. And the media says, well, who told you that? And, right, and Harry says, it doesn't matter. You need to go ask Romney why he hasn't paid his taxes in 10 years. And so the media dutifully marches off and they go and do that. And when the campaign's over and somebody goes to Harry Reid and asks him about it, he says, hey, we won, didn't we? Romney lost, didn't he? So mission accomplished. I mean, it's just, it's it's more of the of, of the double standard, but it also indicates the, the fact that, that these drive-by media types do not want to go back and relive. If there's nothing that's any big deal, what's the problem? I mean, after all, Clinton survived it. He's got this big foundation. He and Hillary are multi multi millionaires. They are highly respected around the world for their charity work. What is the big deal? I mean, if, 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 if what happened in the 90s was no big deal then, why is it a big deal now? And obviously, it was a big deal then. And they had to work overtime to cover it up. And they don't want to have to try to do that again, because I think they probably doubt their ability to run that same cover-up operation twice. Twice. 